Hollywood, where we all are now. Uh, a magnificent job. Uh, uh, in fact, some of the sequences for the documentary were filmed here, and they've been uh, unceasingly supportive of our filmmakers. Please welcome them. They're in the audience. Bill Jones and Ben Timnit. I would like to uh, ask one, before I introduce the musicians, I would like to just ask one favour, um, spreading the word. Uh, I'm of the old school, I had the good fortune to be mentored by the late Derek Taylor, who taught me all the wonderful things I knew. And um, that part of it. it's now, unfortunately, this social media thing for an old guy like me, it's no good at all. Um, you've heard of campaigns that go viral. When I do a social media campaign, they go anti viral. I mean, I just don't know how to do it. So, if any of you are fans of the Pythons and George, please spread the word. Modernrockers.com, just spread the word so that people know about it. Um, so, when I was looking, the, the fabulous folks from the stand had showed me around the hotel and they had they said you could do your party there in the lounge or you could do it by the pool. Um, and then they showed me this room and I thought, okay, this is the right room. And I saw, I said, can you play some George music on CD? And the young guy looked at me, CDs? What are those? <laughs> and they explained to me about Spotify and that's why you've been hearing some beautiful George music. But then I saw this stage and I thought, you know what? George's heart was with live music and performing music. And wouldn't it be great to have some live music, some of George's compositions come to life on the stage? And wouldn't it be great if we could get some folks who played with George in one way or another over the years? And so I'm very lucky that some friends uh, have come together and I'm going to introduce you to them and then they'll take it away. Um, uh, on guitar, first we got to know him from playing in Paul McCartney's Wings um, and then played with George, played with George on Shanghai Surprise. Every, stud every studio has its Cleopatra, come on. Uh, um, Mr. Lawrence Tuba. Two of my favourite musicians who I met way back in the 80s when they were working with Phil Collins and then working with Eric Clapton. Two just really terrific folks. Um, on bass, Nathan East. And on keyboards, the man who does the best Ed Sullivan impersonation you've ever heard. I think you may have to close the show with your Ed Sullivan. Greg Fillingales. And on drums, uh, uh, everybody's favourite, played with George on, uh, on uh, records, on stage, with the Travelling World Riz, our dear friend Jim Kelp. <laughs> and I was wondering who could actually sing with this lovely ensemble, and I was thinking about, um, I was looking for uh, inviting all the various actors and actresses who'd performed in the various movies done by Handmaid, and I was looking through this, uh, the cast list of a film I wasn't so familiar with, um, a film with Jeff Daniels, made by Handmaid, uh, directed by David Leland, and I saw the f name of a friend, uh, Kathleen York. I thought, I know Kathleen York. Some of you may remember that wonderful movie that Paul Haggis directed called Crash, and the, which won the Oscar in 2005 6 and the person who wrote and performed the theme song for that was Kathleen Bird York, and I'm delighted to say that since she performed in a film with George, George played a janitor. He was like Alfred Hitchcock. He constantly wanted a cameo, and he played a janitor in the film. So I'm delighted that to sing tonight, we have Kathleen Bird York. Yeah. 